morning students so today we are going to cover one topic that is time as you can see on this screen there is a clock everybody has clock in their home okay so i have a clock in my hand you have seen clock at your home so this is an analog clock there are two types of clock digital and analog this is called analog clock because it has hands in the clock okay can you see in the clock there are three hands this is called minute hand then this is a second hand then this is hour hand so we have three hands in clock minute hand hour hand and second hand but we are going to cover only two hands that is minute hand and hour hand not this second hand second is constantly moving so you will ignore this this hand we can ignore and we are going to cover with the minute hand the long hand the longest hand is called minute hand and the short hand the shortest one it is called hour hand okay so you can see in the clock if we put the minute hand here on 12 minute hand will remain on 12 and the hour hand will be on 3 so what is the time always look the hour hand where is the hour hand hour hand is on 3 that means the time is 3 o'clock whenever you are going to see the time you have to see the minute hand as well as hour hand as i told you minute hand is the long hand long hand should be on 12 it must be on 12 and the hour hand will be on any number so you see where is the hour hand hour hand is on 3 that means what is the time by this clock the time is 3 o'clock so we are going to adjust the time once again now i am moving this hour hand from 3 to 7 now my minute hand is again on 12 and where is the hour hand just look at the hour hand hour hand is on 7 so what is the time by this watch now it is 7 o'clock okay so you always see the minute hand should be on 12 and the hour hand should be on any number so when somebody ask you what is the time you will see the hour hand where does the hour hand point it is pointing towards 7 that means it is 7 o'clock if it points towards 9 that means it is 9 o'clock if it points towards 10 it is 10 o'clock but you have to keep this in mind that minute hand should be on 12 this is how you see the time now look in the board i have drawn some watch on the board can you see the clock there are two clock they start in the first one see there are two hands on the clock the long hand is called minute hand as i already told you and there is a short hand short hand is called hour hand so as i told you the long hand will be on 12 if it will be on 12 we will see where is the hour hand pointing it is pointing on 5 so what is the uh, time by this clock it is 5 o'clock so we can write like this 5 then apostrophe sorry 5 then o a big o apostrophe then clock this is how you write the time or there is one more way to write a time you will write 5 you will put a colon then 0 0 this is the time okay when somebody asks what is the time you will say 5 o'clock and this is how you will write 5 o apostrophe clock or ya to iske alawa 5 put a colon or double o these are the two ways you can tell the time you can write down the time now look at the another clock we have made here again there are two hands of the clock one the long hand is the minute hand and the short hand is the hour hand you can see the minute hand is again pointing towards 12 and the short hand is pointing towards 10 so i as i told you when you see the time you will see the short hand clock so the short hand is pointing towards 10 what is the time by this clock it is 10 o'clock 10 again we'll write 10 then o then apostrophe then clock this is how you write the another way of writing this time 10 put a colon like this then 0 0 so the time is 10 o'clock this kind of exercise is already given in your maths book so you will open your maths book chapter 9 and you'll find the exercise and fill up the exercise Thank you. Have a nice day.